The real question that now looms large over the Corinthos family is whether Sonny Corinthos will ultimately face justice for the crime he undeniably committed. Though FBI agent John Cates was far from an innocent man, having his hands deep in corruption, that doesn't absolve Sonny of responsibility for his cold-blooded actions. Regardless of Cates' moral failings, murder is murder, and there's a high chance that Sonny might finally face his reckoning. The walls are closing in around him, and even the powerful influence he has over Port Charles may not be enough to save him from serving time in Pentonville. After all, Sonny's loyal inner circle has done all they can to protect him, but the truth has a way of surfacing, and this time it may cost him dearly. With Michael's plan to find a fall guy potentially failing, and Christina's involvement being unraveled, it's uncertain how much longer Sonny can escape his fate. The real question on everyone's mind is, should Sonny finally pay for what he's done? Sonny's predicament is further complicated by the fact that his daughter, Christina Corinthos Davis, seems to be caught up in the mess, either by circumstance or reckless behavior. Her impulsive decision to break into her father's penthouse and steal a gun could land her in hot water if her actions are exposed. The theft of the weapon may seem like a minor footnote in the grand scheme of things, but in the world of crime and cover-ups, even small mistakes can lead to catastrophic consequences. Christina's journey to the cemetery, followed by her unexpected arrival at the Quartermain estate, suggests she's struggling with inner turmoil, possibly guilt, or a desire to protect her family at any cost. But with Alexis Davis already being arrested for the murder due to overwhelming circumstantial evidence, the focus may shift onto Christina, especially with Molly Lansing Davis determined to point her out as a more viable suspect. Molly's quest for justice is as relentless as it is personal. She believes that her mother, Alexis, is being wrongfully accused, and she is on a mission to uncover the truth. For Molly, exonerating Alexis means proving Christina's potential involvement, but the emotional cost of that realization is one she's not fully prepared to face. Will she be able to handle the fallout if Christina is implicated, or will she regret her pursuit of the truth? As the youngest in the family, Molly has always idolized both her mother and her sister, and this sudden turn of events is forcing her to grow up in ways she never anticipated. Her loyalty to her family is clashing with her drive to see justice done, leaving her in an unenviable position where no matter what she does, someone she loves will suffer the consequences. Meanwhile, Alexis Davis stands as the prime suspect, her past choices and fiery temperament coming back to haunt her at the worst possible time. It's true that Alexis made a damning mistake by publicly threatening Kate's in the middle of the police station, a decision that now seems to have sealed her fate. Witnesses, including Rick Lansing and Elizabeth Weber, saw her throw a gun off a footbridge, an act that only strengthens the case against her. But Alexis is no stranger to the rough road of life, having navigated personal and legal battles for years. Her arrest marks a pivotal moment, not only for her, but for everyone in her orbit. As her family rallies around her, the question of her guilt remains in the air. Is she truly innocent, or did her anger toward Kate's get the better of her in a moment of madness? The added complexity of Sonny's involvement only deepens the tragedy. And then, there's Carly Spencer. Ever the protector, she stepped in to help Sonny with an alibi, even though she knows deep down the dangerous game they are playing. Carly has always been by Sonny's side, willing to lie, cheat, and manipulate the truth to keep him safe from legal consequences. However, this time feels different. She's no longer just covering for him. She's shielding their family from disintegrating under the weight of their collective secrets. But can she keep up the charade forever? especially when it involves their daughter. Carly's strength is admirable, but her vulnerability is equally palpable. She's as much a victim of the crime as she is an accomplice, trapped by her love for Sonny and her need to protect her children at any cost. Michael Corinthos, on the other hand, continues to orchestrate the cleanup behind the scenes. He may not be the one who pulled the trigger, but his role in clearing the crime scene reveals the extent of his moral compromise. By covering for his father, Michael is walking a dangerous tightrope between loyalty to his family and his own internal moral compass. 
He knows that if the truth comes out, the entire Corinthos dynasty could crumble, and yet he's willing to do whatever it takes to keep Sonny out of prison. Michael's calculated moves suggest he's always thinking two steps ahead. But for how long can he maintain control before everything spirals out of his grasp? Jason Morgan, ever the loyal enforcer, has already played his part by disposing of the murder weapon. His loyalty to Sonny remains unshakable, but one has to wonder if there's a breaking point even for him. With every crime, every cover-up, Jason becomes more entrenched in the shadowy world that defines his existence. But this time, the stakes are higher. The fact that Alexis has been wrongly accused and Christina is under suspicion could strain Jason's relationship with the Corinthos family. His cold, methodical disposal of the gun in acid was supposed to erase any trace of Sonny's crime, but there's always something left behind, a crack in the facade that could bring everything down. In the end, Sonny's dilemma may not be about whether he can escape justice, but whether he's willing to let his family take the fall for him. If Christina or Alexis is charged, Sonny could be forced to confess to the murder to protect them. But the consequences of that confession could mean the end of Sonny Corinthos, as he knows it. The fate of everyone involved hangs in the balance, with each choice leading them closer to ruin or redemption.